Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I'm back in Costa del Sol in Torremolinos and while I'm here I'm going to review one hotel. It's the four star MS Aquamarina. Check in with Dead Simple, signature and make the payment because you have to pay at the property. I'm in room 409 and I do have my key. This room is classed as the Junior Classic Suite, so let's have a look around. Again, right by the door is a slot for your key card to activate the electricity. I'll do the ensuite in a second. A very large mirror. As I said, there is a suite, and straight away you come to the bedroom. A large bed, a very big bed. Bedside tables either side with storage. You do have your two lamps with reading lights and two power inputs, but I don't see any USBs. Case stand. Ah, oh, this is a big wardrobe, this. Plenty of hanging space. That's a big wardrobe, floor to ceiling wardrobe. Extra blankets. Squeaky door. Let's try and get this in as a shot. Loads of storage space. A key activated safe. It's an old safe that, so you'll obviously have to get a key from reception. I gather you will have to pay for that safe. and get a long shot of the bedroom. The bed is that big, it takes up the whole space. Yeah, pillows do have protectors on. A few markings on the sheet. And it does have a mattress protector on. And into the lounge stroke kitchen. Double seated couch with a side table and coffee table. Quite a large flat screen TV. A dining table, two stools. As I said, it's sort of self contained. Um, you do have your microwave, your fridge. Complimentary water. I won't be using this. So a couple of cups and glasses and a kettle. And now, do you have cutlery and stuff like that? Nope. No. So it's self contained, but you don't have any cutlery. So it's a little bit of a kitchenette, but. I won't be using it. And a balcony with no view. So let's check out the ensuite. Straight away, a very large walk in shower. Terrain shower as well. Shampoo and shower gel. This is nice, nice and clean. Your toilet and B day. A large mirror. Hand wash the hair dryer. And you do have a power point. You get some a shower cap soap, tissues, 
shaving kit, dental kit, two dental kits. I'll try and give you a wider angle shot of the bathroom. So there you have the classic junior suite. Let's check out the rest of the hotel. Good morning from the MS Aquamarina Suites here in Torremolinos. I've just returned from breakfast. Unfortunately, I couldn't do a lot of footage of the breakfast because the dining room was full. But there was the usual stuff, your teas, your coffees, fruit juices, uh, your cooked food, beans, tomatoes, mushrooms, and stuff like that. Uh, the sausage was like cardboard. I didn't think much of the sausage. Anyhow, the sweets themselves, I booked the Junior Classic Suite. I didn't book a pool view. I thought I had the sea view, but I haven't. I've got a concrete wall in front of me, but I'm only staying the one night. The suites themselves, the ensuite is gorgeous, huge ensuite, nice and clean, walk-in shower, really nice, hot water, plenty of hot water. The bed, huge bed, a good night's sleep. 
The lounge area, I just sort of don't get what the lounge area is about. Okay, you've got a, a double seat couch to watch the TV with English channels. Uh, but there is a kitchenette, which has a fridge, microwave and a double hob. Right, I can understand the fridge, I can understand the microwave. I don't get what the double hob's for because there's not a pan, a plate or any cutlery. There's nothing at all. So you can't even use the double hob. So it doesn't make sense. Um, the hotel itself, a nice hotel, nice and clean. The lounge area is quite nice as well. A nice seating area, bar area, quite large. Staff wise, reception staff, they were fine when we got checked in. The spa staff down by the heated swimming pool, really nice. The bar person was nowhere to be seen. He was like the Scarlet Pimpernel. We sat in the bar for about two hours and we just watched people queuing and queuing and queuing and there was no one behind the bar. They were even knocking on doors to see if he was hiding in the cupboard. And I even had to go down to the reception staff at one time and ask, do you have any staff on the bar? He just didn't want to be there. Heated indoor pool, absolutely gorgeous. Lovely heated indoor pool. Outdoor pool, never got much chance to be outdoor because it hasn't stopped raining for the last two days. The price that I pay for this, I think slightly on the steep side for a four star. Oh, by the way, you do get a kettle as well, but they don't give you any complimentary tea or coffee. It's a four star hotel. You should expect that. Maybe because it's a sweet, I don't know, but there's no tea or coffee, but you do have a kettle. Right, the price. I paid for this one night stay for two people, half board, and it come to £137.88. pence. Now, for what you get in this four-star hotel, I think that that is on the steep side. We are just at the beginning of March, so we're not quite into the season yet. But £137.88 for two people half board for one night, I feel is a bit on the steep side. I have paid less than that for a one night stay in a five star hotel in Benador. And that was for two people. Anyhow, mobility by the way, there are slopes on the entrance to the hotel. There are mobility charging points throughout the hotel as well, I've noticed. And the way the hotel is situated, it's on like two levels. Your entrance is on the lower side of Torremolinos. Torremolinos is on the hill. So the entrance is on the lower side. The back of the hotel is high up. So if you're coming down from Torremolinos, you either have to go all the way around the road and back to the entrance or all the way down 99 steps to get to the hotel. But the hotel has provided a lift on the higher ground at the back of the hotel. So you can just come in from the main road at the top of Torremolinos and you come out of the reception. So mobility regarding getting to the hotel, it's easier to come in from the top of Torremolinos other than from the beach, if that makes sense. Right, would I stay here again? Probably not. So I'm going to love you and leave you because I've got to make my way back to the airport. So put down in the comments what do you think of the MS Aquamarina Suite here in Torremolinos? What do you think of our Junior Classic Suite? What do you think of the hotel? I don't understand the hub. Would you stay here? Do you like Torremolinos? They're all questions I'm asking. Put them down in the comments down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell. As I said, making me way to the airport. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.